Hello everybody and welcome to the first Sun and Moon update video. We finally got a trailer for the new games which confirms some things that we've already predicted. So the trailer, the Japanese trailer that is, opens up with a kid and his mum on a plane and they're coming to Hawaii because you can see on that background, in the back, on that banner, sorry, in the background. So this is obviously confirmation the new region is going to be based on Hawaii and that's also confirmed later on in the English trailer where um, the region is actually called the Alola region which is pretty cool. So yeah, here we get our first look at the Moon Legendary on that poster on the window there. And we'll get a better look at that guy near the end of the trailer. But on the window you'll see that there's some TV screens that are showing some video footage of the game. Which looks to be the Legendary Pokemon's signature moves. I don't think we have names for the Legendary Pokemon yet. But, you know, whatever. Still pretty cool. So yeah, this looks like some sort of video message. So I'm assuming this could be like the introduction to the games and it might also be like the Generations version of the Holocast, so that sort of thing, like a communication device. But obviously I don't know for sure. So we also get our first look at the player characters here. So it looks like trailer customization is back. We can choose our character's cut skin tone like we could before in uh, X and Y. But it looks like there's, they've added like one more skin tone option there. So we also get our first look at the artwork of the region. I mean, to me it seems pretty small. But I think because Hawaii 5, Hawaii 5 sorry, but since Hawaii in real life is made up of several different islands, I reckon the game region might follow that. So yeah, here we have the guy uh, from earlier in the video, in that little video chat thing, interacting with the player in what I assume to be the player's house. So this guy is going to be called uh, Kukui, I believe that is. He's going to be called Kukui, and he's going to welcome the player to the Alola region. Which kind of obviously shows that, like in Ruby and Sapphire, the player has just moved to the region. You can see when he's talking to the player, there's like moving boxes and stuff in the background. But yeah, Kukui seems to be the professor's assistant. And we get a shot of the actual professor um, later on in the trailer when he sends out the three starter Pokemon. So you, you also the player is at without his hat in that little bit. Which obviously hints more towards character customization, But it also could mean that the player like automatically takes off the hat when they go indoors or something. I don't know. But yeah, we also get some shots of the overworld here, which is some pretty cool camera angles. I think they're more more, more divert, diverse camera angles than we had in X and Y and all that stuff, which is pretty nice. So yeah, here we finally see the start Pokemon of the games. Um, to me, they look a little bit weird at first, but they, they're growing on me a bit more now. But their names have been confirmed. So we have a grass type called Rowlet. The fire type is Litten. And the water type is Poplio. So Rowlet is going to be a grass flying type right off the bat. And I assume that as Litten and Poplio evolve, Poplio evolve they will gain um, like secondary types. I feel by the looks of Litten, it's going to be a fire dark type. And Poplio may be a water ice type, but I don't know. I don't know. And the player, uh, sorry, not the player, the Professor's Lab seems to be outside in these games, or at least has like an outside area, which is pretty cool actually. So we get a shot here of what I'm guessing is the rival, or who I'm guessing is the rival, and we get straight into a battle with him. So what I found was pretty cool is that you can actually see the trainer you're battling in the battle scene, like behind the Pokemon, which is pretty awesome actually. We've never seen that before in the games, but this might not be for every Pokemon like trainer battle. It might just be for like rivals and gym lead and stuff. But what's interesting is the players, sorry, the rivals Pokemon has a disadvantage against the players. So that could mean that there are once again going to be multiple rivals in the games and one of them is going to have the starter with the advantage against yours, which is, you know, they've done that for a while now having multiple rivals. So it's not really a massive like, what do you call it? Departure from, you know, standard at the moment. But we also have a shot of the Sun Legendary standing on some on some sort of wooden platform. And you can also see in the background the symbols for the on the Sun and Moon logos on plinths behind him. So it could be some sort of temple where you find the legendaries. I don't know. But you also get a better look of the Moon Legendary. And if you see in the background that these symbols have actually swapped around between games. So in the Moon, in the Moon game, when the Moon Legendary pops up, the Moon logo is on the left. And in the sun, the sun logo is on the left. So yeah, the release dates for the games have also been confirmed in Japan and pretty much everywhere else, I think. Uh, the game is going to be released on the 18th of November. And in Europe, they're going to be released on the 23rd of November. So once again, Europe is getting the short stick again for whatever reason. And we're getting it a week after everyone else again. I don't, I'm not sure why this is, but you know, hopefully we'll get more information on this on these games in Koro Koro. Maybe we'll get names for the legendary Pokemon if they haven't already been uh, announced. Because at the time of this video, they haven't been. But, you know. Oh, there's one more thing about Rowlet. Apparently, it knows a new move called Leafage. Which I think is that move it's using where he's firing, like, green orb things at the opponent. I'm not really sure what that move is, but it looks pretty cool. It's probably, like, the equivalent of Vine Whip or something. I don't know. 
But anyway, thank you everybody for watching this video. Hopefully there'll be more uh, updates as time goes on until the 23rd or 18th of November, sorry. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.